Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on this May 6th. Good to see you all. How you do you, Grant, Lita, Lawrence? Good to see you all. First of all, I like to make an announcement. Uh, I told my wife I was going to do this for her. So, uh, did anybody watch the Kentucky Derby this weekend? Just out of curiosity. Anybody watch the Derby? One of the probably a little bit of a horse fan myself, but probably one of the biggest uh, upsets in sports history. It was unbelievable, right? Any crazy people? Well, anyway, it was a complete disaster. It was a disaster for some people, but the reason why I'm going to make an announcement is my wife actually had the 20 horse and she wanted to win. She back, she, she told me, she goes, bet the 20 and bet the 13. Meanwhile, I was so dumb. I should have bet an exacta. The exacta paid uh, the three thousand dollars. I couldn't believe it. So she won a fortune, and she was jumping up and down. The funny part is, she thought I had win place in show, and a horse came in second, and she started throwing things at me, yelling. She had you in a better for place in show. Meanwhile, I says, "Honey, I think the horse got disqualified." And then she like, "Are you kidding me?" I couldn't believe it. It was just a great experience. It's so much fun to see people win. But uh, yeah, Debbie had a great time, Lita. That was awesome. So hopefully, I don't know if you had a fun experience on that I had, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, what's going? We looks like we have another catastrophe going on this morning. The stock market's taking a major, major hit, and everybody obviously knows. Uh, if you're watching the financial stations, what's going on? They said that the the tariffs going to start be kicking in. Let me. Uh, I guess the president's really not. You know. <laughs> is pretty serious when it comes to that. So it uh, looks like uh, Mark is going to take a nice little hit. I guess a lot of people are thinking, what the hell do we do? What do we trade? What's moving What's moving in the market? Do we get in this? Do we get in that? Whatever. Well, first of all, all the ETFs are on fire right now. And you know I'm not a big ETF fan, but there are times when you do have to trade the ETFs, and today is one of those days. All right? So I uh, need to go out there and focus on certain ETFs. We'll check them out, but you know, you can see some some of them, the VIX and all of them, they're all, they're all doing pretty well. I mean, some of them gapped up pretty nicely and so on, but we're going to we're gonna play around. There are a couple of stocks that are moving, and then we'll go there. But uh, let's go uh, – let's talk about what happened on Friday. But before we do that, uh, just a quick announcement. I know we have a lot of new people that are joining us today here at Cyber University. And just remember, please make sure you've watched your videos uh, over the weekend, what to expect here in the trading room. And most importantly, make sure you talk to your education advisor here. Cyber Train University, so we can explain to you exactly what to expect. Be in the this trading room. Please keep in mind this is not a teaching room; it's a trading room. So just look, listen, and learn. All right. So now, what happened on Friday? Let's check out some of the stocks that we did trade on Friday. First of all, uh, we had U.S. Steel that did pretty well; had a really nice recovery. You could see how that stock. Let me just fix the time zone again on here. Uh, really nice uh, recovery. That was one of the stocks on our morning watch list in pre-market. Nine o'clock went from 1460, popped out of the gate, went to 15, all the way up to about 1620. And pretty much that was about it at the 10 o'clock. You could have made some money in the middle of the day, but who the hell cares, right? If you did made your day's pay, that was fine. COTY was a phenomenal mover just out of nowhere. Built a beautiful Fausto flag right around there. You could see it right there. But this stock went from 11 all the way to 1260. Had a little bit of a nasty shake, but that stock did pretty well. Uh, pins, Pinterest. Uh, I got out of my Pinterest, okay? I got out of it. Stock's been taking a very, very big hit. Thank God we got out of it. But uh, it's also taking uh, continue to take a big hit right here with the market uh, going down. It was a really nice swing trade at the IPO price. But once again, um, you know, listen, that's trading. I, I, I always say this. I hate stocks that go up too fast. When they go up too fast, they come crashing down. Everything comes back down. Nothing goes in a straight line, but that one did pretty well. MAXR is another one that did pretty well on Friday. That one was pretty easy. Went from 550, you could see here, to 10 o'clock. Went all the way to about 650. Nice, nice day. Nice little mover. And uh, please don't look at this $55. Think it's going back since last year. Just take what you – remember, the goal is we make our money and we move on. All right. Now, uh, what's moving this morning? Well, like, well, there was this one stock all of you guys are doing in pre-market right now, the AMTX. That one's actually doing really, really nicely. Very cheap little stock. Uh, beautiful Fausto flag right here at a buck twenty. Shot up to a buck fifty. It's testing one sixty. Look over here on the matrix on the level three. A lot of big orders. Two thousand, eleven thousand. You know, nice orders everywhere. So the stock is doing very, very nicely. 
Uh, that one looks like one of our strongest ones going in the market. In the open, it's already up about 80%. And please, guys, don't discriminate because it's under $5. I always get people look at it and says, oh, I don't trade stocks like this. You know what? By the time you figure it out, you're already out of it and made your day's pay. You know what? I'd rather trade this than trade Facebook at 200 bucks. I'll be honest with you. You need less money, less risk, more reward. Now, uh, what else do we have? Regarding about some of the stocks that are going on out there, like I said, the market's taking a very big hit. Obviously, a lot of the news has to do um, – with the with the tariffs that are going on, I didn't think it was going to take that big of a big hit. I mean, that is a substantial big hit. A lot of us are probably thinking about it. Is it a buying opportunity? Uh, do we sell out of some of the stocks? I'll tell you the truth. I'm might considering getting out a lot of my long swing trades right now. Uh, I mean, that is a huge, huge correction. It's going to go happen in the market. But um, I'm just looking at the the TV and just seeing what what they're saying on regarding the news. It's very, very important. You got to be on top of this. But listen. Positive, negative, doesn't matter. We're all in the same. We're all in the same business. We're all here to make money together. So you know, the trend is your friend. Don't buck that trend, okay? Don't try to analyze it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to stare at some 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 uh, crystal ball indicator to tell you, well, this one's crossing with that one. Listen, follow the money. That's all we do here. All right. So let's. Uh, so what we got going on is we got some of the some of the ETFs, uh, UV, XY. Is obviously capitalizing on this stock right here. I mean, like I told you, I'm not a very big fan trading ATS, but today this is what it's all about. Unless you're going to go out there and you want to start shorting, you know, I'm looking at this, some stocks. I mean, Yeti is down, you know, buck thirty. Lyft is down, not that much, a uh, buck seventy. I mean, I'm looking at so Amazon's down forty-one points. Uh, you got you got a couple of stocks that are moving here all over the place. Um, I mean, if you look at the losers, you know, regarding about there, I mean, you got this one stock that took an, a nice little big hit right here, uh, CHAQ. But, I, you know, this, you see how it's spotty over here? This is all gaps, you know. So, you know, once again, it's a China stock. Some of the China stocks are probably going to take big hits. I probably look at some China stocks also that might, uh, might be affected. What do we have? IQ, right? Uh, we got going over here. IQ, there, there's uh, one of the China stocks. Um, what is it? NIO, I think that's the other one, right? Looks like a lot of China stocks are probably going to take some big hits right here. So you could do a couple of shorting here. But you know what? The big thing we got to learn about today, and a lot of you advanced traders know this, Let's see what happens. Do not trade the first five minutes of the open. Let all the smoke clear. Let's see what the what the big Wall Street tr um, traders on the floor are going to be doing. It's going to gap up. You might get some covering going on as some profit taking. Maybe people are going to want to average down, but give it about five minutes. Uh, but you know, regarding about the picks, I mean, you got you know stocks to watch. TVIX, it's another one, big ETF. Once again, this is like the double. The, was that the uh, the uh, triple short, the double short on this one, on the VIX. This one also is moving. I mean, all the ETFs are all pretty much there. You can see them all uh, all moving. Uh, stocks right here. This one gapped up. I don't know what this was all about. This OVID, this stock took a big, big jump up and it's backing off right now. I, I want to keep an eye on that one too, OVID. But I think a lot of our attention should be more trading the market, which you know I'm not a very big fan of because the market really never trades this volatile. But I think everyone's going to have to take that in consideration. So the, the biggest tip of the day, to trade a market like this, guys, is most importantly, you work together like a team and don't think this is your typical home run days. We're not getting a lot of 50, 75 percent, 200 percent winners um, over the course of the day. You might. We'll see what happens to the open. But when you get in a market like this, especially going into a Monday morning, we know Monday morning is always difficult because a lot of people come back with a hangover of the weekend, you know, and, you know, people still try to get their feet going to work today. So uh, you don't get that much action. But with that news, it looks like we're going to have an exciting day. Fran's already up 45 cents in TVIX. All right, let's give let's give Fran a nice little round of applause. Good for you, Fran. Ben says I like the YRIV at 75 cents. Uh, why the YR was it YRIV? I'm just going to bring that up over here. 
Uh, I mean, once again, cheap little stock. A lot of big buyers out there. You can see over here in the matrix. Definitely to look at that. All right, guys. So those are our watch lists, and uh, let's just get ready for the open. Just uh, go, go, uh, go. Fill up on your coffee. Maybe go hit the little, uh, go hit the uh, the restrooms if you have to. And let's get ready for a very, very exciting morning. This is not, we very rarely get this opportunity to kind of train a day like today. So uh, let's see how the street reacts, and let's just follow their lead. All right, everyone. And remember, if you're new to Cybertree University, just make sure you talk to Education Advisor and just look, listen, and learn. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.